today we will be trying out the new My El Organic Sea Moss Collection. This is Caitlin, also known as Curls by the Dozen. Welcome to my channel. I started off by wetting my hair to prep for the shampoo. I used the Sea Moss Anti Shedding Shampoo infused with Saw Palmetto. What I liked most about this shampoo was that it had great lather, but it wasn't stripping to the hair. So what's so great about sea moss, you might ask? It has 92 vitamins and minerals, including vitamins A, C, and E, as well as iron, magnesium, and zinc. As you can see, my hair was very clean and my scalp felt great after rinsing out the shampoo. Next was the Sea Moss Anti-Shedding Conditioner infused with Saw Palmetto. The consistency was very thick and it made detangling my hair a lot easier. After rinsing out the conditioner, I applied my favorite product from the collection, the gel mask. It's not necessary to use both a rinse out conditioner and a hair mask during your wash day, but I chose to use both for this video. So this mask is the Sea Moss Anti-Shedding Gel Mask infused with Saw Palmetto. I did not want to wash this mask out of my hair. It provided so much shine and slip. And because it's a gel mask, it had a completely different consistency than what we are used to in our regular hair mask. As you can see right here, it looks like I styled my hair and it has product in it, my gel, and I'm waiting for my hair to dry, but no, this is the gel mask in my hair. After rinsing out the gel mask, my hair was very light and fluffy. I chose to do a twist out on my hair and I started off by applying the CMOS Anti-Shedding Leave-In Conditioner infused with Saw Palmetto to small sections of my hair. This leave-in was moisturizing and left my hair feeling soft and easy to work through. And I followed up with the Sea Moss Anti-Shedding Curl Pudding with Saw Palmetto. What I liked about the curl pudding is that it had a very light consistency and it paired well with the leave-in conditioner. As you can see here, I stop about 70% of the way and I smooth my hair and I finger coil the ends of my hair using my fingers so I can have these cute little coils at the end of each of my twists. I 
I let my hair dry overnight and this is the final result. Very shiny, very bouncy, very soft to touch. I applied some oil to my hair and then I began to separate the twists. The easiest way I found to separate the twists is by gently pulling the hair apart and then letting the hair do what it wants to do. If you try to separate it where the hair does not want to separate, it's going to cause frizz. Overall, I really, really like the collection. I think my hair came out great. And if you're having any problems with hair shedding or hair loss, I would definitely give it a try. Please let me know your thoughts and see you next time.